Hey guys, this is uh, Cricket113. I uh, just wanted to show you guys a, a neat little link uh, to measure your uh, your RF exposure in your in your ham shack. Um, it's a fun little calculator that uh, makes it a little easier. Makes it easier to understand. It's not a hundred percent, but uh, it gives you a general idea of uh, the permissible uh, amounts of uh, our radio frequency uh, radiation that. Uh, is uh you know good for you uh good or bad uh, actually i should say you know it measures the distance of the antenna the gain the power output what frequency you're using it puts that into play whether there's ground reflection or not depending on how high you have it uh there is a little disclaimer on the right that it's not a hundred percent but um it gives you a general idea um as you know when you study for tech and uh in general and whatnot i'm sure extra i'm not sure but uh we have our duty cycles and basically duty cycles are you know it's not a hundred not not a hundred percent all the time if you're just doing phone you might be talking you might be 50 50 or whatever but um or less uh you might be talking and listening most of the time uh so it really depends but um but we have like different ratings when you got to do your thresholds, your power thresholds, when you got to do uh, an evaluation. You should do one whenever you change your setups, uh, get a different radio, change maybe an amplifier, maybe get a different antenna, different placement. Maybe it's in your attic. Maybe it's a dipole that's, uh, you know, directional, obviously. Or, I mean, like a Yagi or something of that nature is directional. You want to make sure you're not pointing that at your neighbor's house, things like that. So uh, these are some of the wattages that uh, the power ratings that these certain bands <clears throat> uh, where you need to make that evaluation. So anyway, real quick, um, you know, you could plug in your information here. So I have uh, power rating 50 watts. I'm adding 2.2 uh, to the antenna in dB of what my antenna is. So that's 7.2 together there, the distance 25 feet. And a two meter band, so I typed in a frequency that I would, uh, an uplink frequency that I would use quite often. So then I want to hit the calculation. And, ground, yep, basically the end result here <laughs> is what I, what I care about here. Uh, are we good? Yes, yes. So the controlled is you, that's you. Uncontrolled would be your neighbors, the dog walking down the street with his uh, owner, things like that. <clears throat> and they're okay. So the distance of the antenna and the gain and the power that's going out is fine for this particular uh, this particular calculation here. Um, this is good too also. I mean, I'm sure it would be fun to, to plug in some uh, HT uh, power and uh, density and uh, maybe the antenna that you're working, say it's an Avery, a Nagoya, whatever. Um, <clears throat> it's dB and uh, see what it says. I'd be curious. Um, but yeah, this is really good for your base, your base station and your shack. So anyway, I'll put a link uh, to this uh, little calculator below. And uh, yeah, I hope you guys are having a good one, staying safe. Uh, I've been shoveling a lot of snow and been tired and uh, shoveling some more. So and studying for general. So that's why I haven't been on in a while. But uh, seven three to you and yours. Have a good one. This is uh, Cricket Woman three. I'll be clear.